Here's the great man. Brian Robson carrying appropriately in the FA Cup. His children alongside him, one dressed in United colours, one in Celtic colours. And a huge battery of photographers waiting as Brian Robson holds the cup aloft, held it proudly aloft last May at Wembley, of course, after United beat Crystal Palace in the replay. So a great moment for Brian Robson, Dennis. It's absolutely lovely, isn't it? I remember coming up here uh, when it was my testimonial against Ajax. Uh, I didn't actually play the game because, uh, as usual, I was into the day before, on the Saturday before, but to come out and hear the roar of the crowd and it really is something that uh, you can never forget and that was lovely touches these children coming out one with the Celtic and one with the Manchester United strip Wallace in space Hughes oh. and the corner but a lovely move Dennis a good move and of course it was the uh, forward run of Elliott which got his own defence in a bit of trouble so the first corner kick of the game is comfortably cleared Dobchak Wallace this is Irwin McClare is up ahead so is Hughes no McClare and a good save by Bonner. Well, Packy Bonner's had one or two problems with his back, but uh, he looks in good shape. He played very well against England in Dublin last week. Mister. Adam Wallace. Well, Danny Wallace just got a yard on the defender then. It was a beautiful ball from uh, Pallister, and of course, right up to Wallace. Got the shot in, not quite firm enough. Easy save for Pat Bonner. Well, it wasn't that far wide. And a message from John Collins, the man that uh, Dennis was talking about earlier. Again, he was uh, quite confident to have a crack from all of 30 yards, and it uh, I thought went well wide at the end. And, uh, he had the confidence to pull it. He has a lovely left foot. You know, he sprays the ball about. Nice shot. Plenty of room now for Clayton Blackwood. Great one by Neil Webb. And Hughes scores for Manchester United. So a goal for Mark Hughes. And it all came about, really, Dennis, from a quite marvellous one by Neil Webb, who started the move. He, he broke away marvellous, but really, the, the, the thing that started it all was a most superb pass by Blackmore, all of 50, 60 yards, through to Webb. He tried to take Pat Bonner on. Pat just got a little touch. And Pat was a little bit of luck in the second time here. It just a fell right for Hughes, who knocked it into the empty net. A bit lucky and a bit unlucky in, in certain respects, if you could understand. Neil Webb. Wallace. Again in space. McClare. Well, I have a feeling that... Um, Pat Bonner just got a hand to that. Indeed, it is a corner, in which case it's a very fine save because Brian McClare was clear. Again, a lovely ball from Webb to Wallace, who's played some marvellous football. And uh, McClare, nice shot, and Pat just has got a touch to it. So the United corner. Well, flapping a little at that one. Can you be a goal kick? Mm. Danny Wallace couldn't, uh, couldn't quite keep it in. Webb. And again, Wallace is in yards of space on that left-hand side. Elliott to take on. Well, it was lovely play by Wallace. And it is lovely play, isn't it? You know, I mean, there's nothing finer in football when you have a winger going wide, 
beating the fullback or whoever may be the last defender in knocking that ball into the penalty. It creates excitement. Alistair. Rather, a chance for Greeny. One on one with Bruce. And he's put it wide. Well, a letter for United there. Uh, a bad mistake by Pallister. Collins. It's a lovely ball to Hayes. And it could be a goal, indeed it is. Equaliser. Collins has got it. So, John Collins, after a very neat build-up indeed. Marvellous ball from Charlie Nicholas here. He saw Hayes, lovely inside. Hayes took it across, a little bit of lucky. Just got a better hand, and there was Collins to knock into the empty net. And the Celtic fans especially pleased with their side's equaliser. And it really has set it up so nicely for the second half. Collins. Lovely run by Dovchek. And is it there? I think it is. But it may be an own goal. Charlie Nicholas is claiming it. But certainly it's squirmed away from Nessili. And Charlie Nicholas is certainly claiming the last touch. I have a feeling that it could already have been over the line, Dennis. I think, too, well, it was such a fierce cross from Dovchek that Sealy didn't hold it at all. And I think he just hit the post. I think actually Charlie Nicholas did get the last touch there. It was looked as though it was going to be clear. I would give the goal to Charlie, yes. McLaren. Wallace. Good save by Bonner, but a great chance again for McLaren. Again, created by Wallace. Ball knocked out to Wallace, knocked into uh, McClare. There's Wallace on the ball. Sees McClare make the run. Lovely ball in. McClare did hit it well. And Pat Bonner made a marvellous save. Collins. And in fact, the whistle goes. The last action of this first half. And what a first half it's been. Celtic lead by two goals to one. Mark Hughes giving Manchester United the lead after 14 minutes. But then John Collins getting the equaliser on 38 minutes. And then just before half-time, Charlie Nicholas. Well, we're giving the goal to Charlie Nicholas, who just managed to toe-end it over the line after a mistake. Black stays down. Great chance. Good save again. Well, Jim Leighton certainly earning his keep. And a great chance for Jokonovski. But now United with Lee Sharp in a little space on the left. Feeds more. Elliott with the safe header. Still not absolutely clear. But truly done by Dobjak. That's a go to. Celtic fans in good voice, Dennis. Well, they'll be happy that the team leading 2-1. Uh, nice, it's a long way down from Glasgow. Spend a few bobby matches there. Well, no need to tell you who this is warming up. Getting ready for the action. Ryan Watson. Go in with the important interception. That was deflected, that's a great save. And another great save by Jim Layton. Well, that is a superb double save. First of all, from the shot from Fulton, which was deflected, and that was probably the, the best save of all. But brilliant goalkeeping. Yes, it was, because uh, uh, that shot from Fulton did take the deflection. Jim Layton got uh, uh, his left hand to the ball, and as Jakonowski came in there, he had the sense to cover it. We're about to have another Celtic substitution. Off comes Mike Galloway. He's had a very good game in midfield. And on comes Peter Grant to take his place. So it's a midfielder for a midfielder. And 
it's Grant wearing number 13 who comes on. Jakanowski. Collins. Almost setting it up. First touch for Grant. Off the top. A shot from Dobchek. But I think... Well, we've talked all night about this attendance. 41,658 have turned up to pay their own tribute to Brian Robson. Bonner does well. Still United can sustain the attack. This is Beardsmore. Blackmore didn't get hold of it. But a crowd of over, over 41,000 on what really is a an awful night, Neil Midgley holds up his arm there and now it is rather more than a buzz around the crowd because on the halfway line appears the number seven in the red shirt of Manchester United, Danny Wallace comes off and well we don't have to say any more Dennis, do we? Not at all, it is a lovely, uh, tremendous reception he's, he's got uh, from both sets of fans, not only obviously the United ones uh, fans are going to show but the Celtic fans give a tremendous uh, so, the United corner taken. And the ball back with Bonner. Jakanowski for Celtic. He leads the ball. Ball pushed through for Peter Grant. And it's the third Celtic goal. Beautifully done. And United hit on the break, and that may well have settled the game. Beautifully done. Tommy Coyne, the man who got it. It was marvellous uh, run from Jakanowski on the half line. Knocking it through. It was a lovely square ball here. Jim Layton had no chance, and Coyne had the easy task of knocking it in for Celtic's third goal. A lovely move there, did really. it? So Dobchek, in fact, has switched from left back to right back and it's McAnally who have departed now oh, then well a little chance of glory quite strong enough Robson waiting there Beardsmore inside the last minute lovely play by Beardsmore Brian Robson waiting under the crossbar ball still out there Murdoch in a little trouble crowd almost willing a goal for Brian Robson. It, it was almost in there. It was in South India when Beardsmore crossed it over here. He sort of got a deflection loss. That was Elliot, I think, that headed the ball. And Brian seemed to stop there. And I think he thought it was going over. Then Clacky just, oh no, Murdoch, it hit the bar. I think if he'd been more alive there, you know, he could have done. I think he thought it was going over. I'll ask him about that later. Well, we're in time, which referee Neil Mitchell will add on for injuries and stoppages just coming up and a goal kick to Celtic who lead by three goals to one Andy Murdoch with the goal kick and very little time indeed added on by Neil Midgley Brian Robson's testimonial game comes to an end the final score Manchester United 1, Celtic 3, Mark Hughes giving United the lead in the 14th minute, John Collins getting the equaliser, Charlie Nicholas making it 2-1 at half-time, and then Tommy Coyne, 15 minutes from the end, making it 3-1 to Celtic.